So we're done with that. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, I can't talk right now. What's good, Vince? Hmm. Everything, man. It's all good, dude. That's good, man. I'm really excited. Just play that song again, dude. Just run that song back for like another 20 minutes, dude. Let's just not even do a podcast. Let's just play that song over and over again. Got you. All right. Um. Well, as you can see, Will is not here. Um. Again, but apparently he's in the house somewhere. He's probably smoking a cigarette or two. And uh, you know, some dongers. We might cue him in later, but uh, there is a lot to talk about. Um, excitement, PHS, uh, LDS, um, you know, LSD, you know, THC, all that, you know, blaze it. But anyway, C-I-C-K. before we start, though, I like to always start my podcast off with a simple level. How are you doing, Vince? How was your day today? And um, what's life like? <gasps> Pretty good. I just uh, ate all of Will's pizza when I got home and then took a nap, and now here we are I'm in it. the best place ever, the podcast. I'm liking it. I'm liking so. it. All right. Okay, yeah, okay. man. Pretty good. That sounds good. Will, how are you doing today? All right. All good. right. Okay. Good. Here. All right. All right. So um, I don't know where to start. We don't usually have a set schedule. Only I feel like when it's like something super important or something badass, which is pretty much like right now. Um, uh, there's a schedule, but we're just going to wing it like we always do. First of all, let's just get the, the easy shit out the way. We usually forget to, like, shout out people when they go to Wednesday Night Fights and do, like, a good job. So, um... Yeah, but how do you miss everybody this time, you know? But I didn't even know because... I, I didn't even know. I didn't know that, um, Wednesday, pretty much all of San Diego is at Wednesday Night Fights, which was pretty badass. Um, you know, um... I don't know how. Oh, I only found out because um, um, the homie Chad, aka uh, Mud Falls, he posted like a link of uh, Richard playing um, Black Skills, and you know he had this ridiculous comeback. And I was like, oh, Wednesday Night Fights is going on. That's why Richard wasn't at you know the secret sessions. Um, let's see who how he's doing in the bracket. Lo and behold, there are like two. Let's say there's like seven, eight brackets. There's six. I think there's eight brackets, eight pools. And at least each pool has two people from San Diego. And I mean, yep. like, not just, like, the TTF heads. There's, like, fucking um, the, the, the scoop phase kids, you know. Well, you know, what used to, Or I, I'll still call them the, com, the, the combat phase, which is a completely yeah, different thing. Yeah, might as well. So the combat phase kids are there. Uh, just, you know, just everyone. Like, a good, like, I can name them all. It's, like, it's, it was a good amount of people. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Still, it was so crazy. Seen that guy places. It was it was crazy. It was like okay, it was like Richard, Sean, Manny, Alexis, um, you know, J Mo made it out, Gene, you know, Halen Kill was there, you know, Dude Sir, Jed, Corey Bell, the homie Stefan, uh, P B and J, Jerome, uh, Pop Maggot, the kid that knocked down all the DVDs, uh, the homie Luna. I, I don't know Luna's real name, but he's the Gal guy. Um, I can just keep going and uh Phil was there, Jed, um, Javi uh, Ga- uh, Gamma or Gamma, Gamma was there. I fuck, I'm just gonna consider Gamma as you know close to SD since he like is in. Anybody that's now. been to TTF is pretty much. Um, uh, just everyone was there, man. I can't, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I missed out or whoever, but um, and they all did pretty good, man. Not you know, not to men- not to forget to mention that Richard won the tournament, but Manny got third. But he almost fucking didn't, man. Yeah, that wow. I, I I rewatched that and like yeah, it was like a reset when you last can- game. You can pinpoint the moment when he starts melting, but he unmelted himself, so that was yeah. pretty good. It was really funny because I had all those funny pictures queued up for when he won, and he looked like he wasn't going to win, and I was just yelling at Will the whole time. <laughs> but he ended up winning, so it was yeah. cool. Um, and then um, Manny got third, Alexis got fifth, and then I think so. And then like Sean got seventh. So four people out of the eight from uh, got top eight are from San Diego, and then Jed got like ninth, or Javi got like ninth. Like, everyone. There was a lot of people in top sixteen. A lot of cool. a lot of San Diego people got top sixteen. It was really badass, man. And I'm really um I'm I'm happy. I'm proud. Um, I mean, keep pushing yourself, guys. Keep pushing it. Um, get that drive. Uh, make that drive. Congratulations, it's a lot, man. It's for, a lot uh, closer. The it's a lot closer to uh, uh, us than um you know next level battle circuit. If Will's not here right now, but um yeah. So <laughs> the Wednesday night is daycare center. Um, but yeah, good shit, man. Um, I mean, Futile is a really good player. That guy, 
I've never seen Richards beat that guy once, you know, except for now. Um, you know, Javi fucked up Brandt, which is always cool. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of tough people, dude. Manny beat uh, Bushin style. Uh, and Alex Valle. Ha- yeah, and Alex Valle. Um, Sean beat Alex Valle, the guy that winners from his pool. Um, Javi beat Brandt, you know. Yeah. That's, a, that, that's a given, you know. Um, Jed had a really uh, close match with Stupendous. You know, he could have made it out of losers or winners from his pool. It was really badass. Um, I, I kind of feel like if I knew that was a thing, I might have would have made a trip up there. But um, it was weird because how, how did that happen? Like, the, the, the room was just silent, dude. I didn't know anyone was going up there. Yeah, we're not important. We're not, since we're really not hiding it from us? Like, know these things. You since know we what? We suck ass. Like, we just, like, plan events and just get shit on by everybody. You know what, though? I'm glad I didn't go because Wednesday was funny. Dude, all right. If we're gonna the run this player, big game storm, the, the, I mean, the, I'm gonna run it myself. We have to have a division for every game, so we just had tryouts for the player unknowns division, and right? we made it. So yeah, see, we well uh, before we start the podcast, we want, I want to introduce the new member of Team Mana Storm for the player unknown battlegrounds division. Yeah, uh, Will C-Dubs. Brown, aka C Dubs. Welcome to the team, um, and I'm glad to support you 100. Uh, you know, support you 100. You know. But yeah, yeah, we'll see you in the updated picture soon. You know. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll put Rico in it too, and, and Rico will be like your teammate, D. So, <laughs> so yeah, congratulations, congratulations to uh, and Rico, Toki, and uh, Will, and Greg, and all those guys. Dude. That was ridiculous. And Greg can't be on. Greg's not on the team. But Greg's not on the team. It's okay. Okay, so we'll put <laughs> Matt's on the team. Matt, should we should we watch the video? Should we just say fuck it and watch the video? Dude, it's up to you. I mean, you could just like watch the last couple seconds. Like, we don't really have anything to do with this podcast except for talk shit. So it's it's your call, man. Let's keep the video. Let's keep it for the, the the fans. Let's keep the video, guys. Yeah. So uh, I, I can't watch it, but I mean, you guys can watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not worried about you. So all right, all right. I was gonna fuck myself. Mahalo. <laughs> Mahalo. Oh man, but yeah, uh, but yeah. So good shit to all that went to Wednesday night fights. Uh, hope you guys made it home safe. Um, you know. Uh, hope you had a good time and hope you go to more too. Yeah, yeah, hope you go to more. Hope you go to more events that are not just Landy or Land Bert. That was like a joke. That's not a joke actually. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not more <laughs> events than was night fights, but um, yeah, it should be a good one. So let me queue up this badass video for you guys to see. You know, in the totally not uh, secret video channel. No, I, I can. I know. How to, I know how to do that. You don't worry about it. I like to go. Come on. They don't know. They don't know about this page. The San Diego, this is the San Diego fighting game. This is the San Diego Street Fighter Five community page, you know. So don't worry about this page. All right. So let's just watch like the last. This game is like the coolest game ever. I can't play it because uh. Yet. Yet, because my computer sucks. Until we have the fundraiser to fix the roof, you know. Wink, wink. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> This is bad. I, I can't even, like, move. This is, like, the sickest podcast. You know what? Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for uh, continuing to support, support uh, whatever this, this is, you know? All right. Well, the, the story is that Will was, like, in this little thing for, like, five minutes. So we'll just, like, cue it. He, like, sees the guy, which is, like, pretty badass. Rico's, like, just coaching him the whole time. At least you're making a move that this guy's a pussy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. This Watching it again is pretty funny. Oh my god, he's that little wheat growing on the ground. I swear. I see him, but like, I can't get a fucking shot on him. <laughs> oh! It's pretty funny watching him again. <laughs> That's bad ass. <laughs> I kind of just like deleted the fucking wrong thing, so like there's no outline to it anymore. But oh shit, I keep deleting shit. Like, <laughs> alright, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, anyway. So let's just get into it. Okay, Street Fighter Five is a game we still play. Um, there's not much to talk about because, like, it's just like it's still just like broken promises and just like a shitty game that we all play. Um, you know, not we don't all play because you know, sadly, we did lose some players. You know, I know Vince; he has strong feelings against the game. A lot of people have strong feelings against the game. I mean, some people. Hated the game in the beginning, and then they finally found a character. So, like, for Sean, like, he's finally enjoying the Which game. Which is a good thing. But what happened is now is that, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I like the game, but I can see from, like, other people's, like, point of view, like, it does suck. Like, 
it hurts because there, I lost a teammate. Basically, you know, I like I, I I I don't want to force Vince to play in team tournaments, but you know that's you know it's the shit that happens. But um, you know, I, I'm glad that people, you know, some people like do enjoy playing the game, or you know, Which in the end, great. in the end, they're like forced to play the game. But hey, whatever, it's still a game. People are playing it, and uh, yeah, I so. Really like it. The layout right now, dude. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I know. I, I, I already... <laughs> <sighs> but um, anyway, so what I was saying is that I don't know that much news. All I know is that like the Thailand level finally came out. It's really cool. Uh, co- more costumes. There, I'm, I'm getting... Yeah. It's, it's so, so cool, cool that you can't buy it anymore because they fucked, fucked it up and it's off the shop now. I'm only... The only thing... Pretty is, awesome. I'm like getting like sick and tired of the costumes. Like I never really complained about the game. I'm not complaining about the game. All right. I'm not complaining about mm-hmm. like the game, as in like I like the playing and the mechanic. I'm just complaining about the costumes. You know what I mean? Like how their priorities are and fuck- everything besides the gameplay when they're, they should be the opposite. Yeah. yeah. And then if you know what, I wouldn't even be mad at the fucking costumes if it was like fair, as in like in Street Fighter Four, each costume pack was like had a costume for each character. Where, like, in this game, if you're not, like, a girl or fucking, like, Ryu or something, or, like, a, a yeah, top-tier character, shit. you're not getting shit, man. Like, and as, like, a birdie player, that, like, fucking pisses me off. Because, what, like, or at, you know what I mean? Like, why can't I want, like, five costumes? Like, fuck, he man. He has great costumes, which is cool, but, like, he doesn't have any, like, other ones. There's so many, there's more Chun costumes than there is for, like, other characters at all. Yeah, I know, exactly. That's just ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Like it's yeah, fucking it's, stupid. It's fucking crazy. But um, you know, it's whatever. Well, uh, it's just hopefully like they make better choices, which I I nope. don't think they are. But I mean, until you can fix your game, like I just hope I just, I, I, I I it's like okay, so it's kind of like my situation at work right now. I keep hoping that like everything I'd like. I've been with the company so long, and I keep hoping, like, in the end, it's going to be, like, perfect. Like, oh, in the end, you're going to get full benefits, and they're going to, like, raise your pay and... And jerk you off. And, like, fucking, you know, jerk you off and blah, blah, blah. Because, like, you know, you have faith in them, and, like, you know, you've been with them so long. It's the same with Street Fighter, Capcom. It's like, you know what, I have faith in Capcom, you know, I've supported them for, like, 20 million years, and, like... You know, it's okay, but, like, it's only the beginning, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what the fuck, man? It's not happening yet, but, you know, me as, like, the fucking, you know, the loser and the idiot I am, it's like, I believe that, like, hey, in the end, I, I really hope it's going to happen. I just don't have, I, I just hope when it finally does happen, like, they announce Street Fighter Six. Like, what the fuck would happen, man? But, you know, I'm just that glad. That coming out, man. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> Oh, we talk about that. And um, but I'm I'm glad that the game, like I'm 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 just glad people are playing the game. That's it. Me too. I can't believe people are playing the game. I think it's fantastic that people are playing it. I'm glad people are it's playing awesome. it because, to be fair, if that game did not exist in San Diego, there would be no TTF would only be like six people, as in like. Because can you <laughs> the okay. backyard of fun would be it pretty much it. Because like yeah. imagine like tomorrow like Street Fighter Five was just banned for some fucking reason like you cannot play Street Fighter Five anymore, do do do, and it's like oh shit. So then you know like people like us like we're we're fine. But can you like all the people that can only play Street Fighter Five and they would have to force themselves to play a new game, and then like not to like sound like a fucking dick, but I've seen it happen. I'm like I don't think a lot of people would like. Try to learn a new game. Because I've seen people try to learn Guilty Gear and just drop you right away. But then, well, but maybe if that was, like, a real scenario, like, they would stick maybe with you. Maybe it would be different. Because you kind of have to. But, I mean, it would be a long, long fucking thing. But anyway, yeah. So, you know, I'm just glad that Street Fighter V is a game and it it's, it makes our community look healthy. That's all i got to say. Um, but I just hope, like, fuck, man. It's, it's been out for, like, a year. Um, I mean... There's supposed to be a patch by the end of this month, but they, there's not. But it's, it's delayed. It's being it really delayed. depends on what this patch looks like when it comes in, because there's supposed to be more changes than what they said, and that's why it's taking longer. Whether or not that's true, I guess we'll find out next month. Yeah, so. you know, it's it's bullshit. They weren't ready. I mean, they made all those patch. Of course okay. not. They made all those patch notes, and they were just waiting. They're like waiting for all the people. Like, why would you do this? Oh, uh, Cammy's air throw looks so shitty. Keith his counter is like. Redo- this doesn't make no fucking sense, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, 
they're listening to all that shit. Like, yo, yo, fuck, dude. Like, we fucked up. So, so magically, oh, this is the new patch because we added more stuff. Like, we fucked up on Cammy's air throw. It was an accident. So now it looks like this. And it's going to look like the coolest move in the world. And then, like, they're all, they're, they're, I don't know. And they're going to, like, realize that Laura is still, like, those characters are still kind of, like, broken. And the patch, the, the nurse they did do or the changes are not as good. So they're going to, like, oh, we fucked up. And we're just going to, like, you know, fig- I don't know. Whatever. But, um. We don't know what's going to happen because, um, like I said, it got delayed and there's supposed to be new patch notes. So hopefully that those come out soon. But uh, like I it's said... It's going to come out with another beta. So that's basically what's going to happen. It's yeah. the same thing that would happen before, but it'll be allegedly more changes plus Ed, the new character. Yeah. But and then Capcom... We'll is see if that happens. Then Capcom hires jackasses anyway because it's pretty much the, the, that... that like, I, I, it was funny in the beginning, that Left Behind guy, but it's like, wow, now you're just being like... Now that's like... A real thing. Yeah, it's like, dude, you're like a fucking loser. You like, you get paid money to do this. Like, you suck. Like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy, man? Like, and I guarantee you, like, I know it was a troll, but deep inside, I kind of felt like Down Down Punch was like the real motion for Shurikens in Marvel Infinite. And everyone, like, I'm all I'm saying is that everyone is like talking shit, like, oh, blah blah blah. But then you gotta remember that there was a shortcut Shuriken in fucking Street Fighter Four, man. Yep, it was down forward, down, down forward. Down forward, down forward was a shuriken. You know those people that cannot DP? Like Ilya? Ilya. Yeah, Ilya I'm cannot DP, dude. He he was trying to learn Guilty Gear, but he could not DP. So, I mean, who knows if that shit was fake? I think just, you know, like I said, like that shit came out and people blew that shit up so much that they changed it. That was a real thing. A lot of them are still like that. The way that it worked was that Ryu had a real DP motion, but the other ones that were like that were still down down yeah. at that point okay. when people played the press build. Yeah. So technically it was and wasn't like that. Yeah. And there's been a simple mode in every single Marvel game that's ever yeah. existed. So I'm sure that's like that was part of it also. The only right. way for us to know what the fucking thing is gonna it, be it, like when is it if comes play out, right? It. And when are we gonna get to play it? Maybe as soon as E3, people are saying. Maybe at Evo. Comic-Con, maybe. Comic-Con. Yeah. Maybe it'll be playable if we're lucky. It's a couple months out now at this point. It's five (laughs) months out. So a lot of people are saying, oh, well, they'll improve the visuals and all that stuff. And They probably will. the same shit about Street Fighter V, and look what we have. So Well, okay. And that was was a lot longer than five months. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's already people, those, those, those nerds that, like, well, if you just, like, shade this part of Hawkeye, and it's like, wow, this looks like a real badass character now, like... Yeah, but none of that's gonna happen. You're gonna get gonna... a game that looks exactly like what you've seen already. Yeah. Maybe but, the UI will change. Yeah. Maybe. But, you know, going into Marvel now, I guess, it's, um... I'm excited. I love Marvel games. Um, like, it's fun. It brings out new people. It brings out old people. Um, it just, it's just, a, it's another, yeah, why the fuck wouldn't you try it when it comes out? There's no reason not yeah, to. It's another fighting game to bring out to the house or to bring people out. It's another fighting game for the scene. It's another um, fighting game that people are guaranteed to play. Yeah. As long as it isn't a piece of shit. It's a fighting game where Street Fighter players will play it and stick with it and not say, yeah, I'll pick it up when it comes out and drop it. Um, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not singling anyone out by the way, guys. I'm just, you know, Bert. But no, um, I guarantee you that game will be a big hit at the house because Vanilla was a very big hit at the house back in the day. Because why wouldn't it be? And every game? single it's person a Capcom game. that fucking played four at TTF played like three, like seriously. So at least a little bit. Yeah. Um, so that shit's gonna be at the house. Um, I'm so far. The, okay, my only like um, thing about the game I don't like is like the characters right now, only because. Of um, just, it's the safest characters you could ever pick. Like, yeah. no one's excited to see this shit. Except for maybe Strider. It's not even... To me, it's not that. It's like, you know... Okay, Vince, you know... People that know how Marvel works and, like, comics and just all that shit, like, why aren't, like... Why does Hawkeye look like that? Why did... Well, why? It's because <laughs> you, you, people don't know the fucking... You know, all the shit going they on. They don't know what the characters actually look like. They don't know the, the, the legal shit going on. They don't know what Marvel has to do. They don't know what the characters look like. Why does Hawkeye look like the one from the movie? Why can't they do, like, you know... It's because they want to make money. So what they're going to do is use all the Marvel, like, you know, or with the, the, the media, right? So that's why every yeah, Marvel character... Shit. 
looks like the movies and shit. Because, you know, they're going to promote That's that That's what shit. Rocket Raccoon looks like. The Rocket Raccoon from the fucking yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's, instead of the one by MZVC3. Just take a look at the two characters and you'll know exactly what's yeah. going on. Um, but, yeah. And then, you know, why aren't the mutants in it? Why aren't the mutants in Marvel? Yeah, dude. Don't there's hold your a, breath for that shit. There's a... But yeah, that, that, there, there's a... Jesus Christ, like... Apparently, the rumor is what? They're DLC, right? Yeah, and nobody knows if that's confirmed yet. There's yeah. some people that say that they're not, and that's what's taking the character announcement delays yeah. so long. It's because they're making sure they could do They that. might have to make the mutants in humans, you know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. The one guy that's leaked everything so far has been right about everything, so uh, maybe we'll get to see at least a few of them. Hopefully, because, you know, this... He was right about Down Down. <laughs> yeah. It just... It, it sucks with the whole, you know, like, Marvel and Fox Studios and blah, blah, blah. Because that game could be so cool. I mean, just now how the uni- like how the Marvel Universe is, just like... But it just sucks when you're, you, 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 you know, as a business person... Pers- pers- I can't talk. As a business point of view, you can't just please one audience. You have to please the whole audience. So you have to please yep. the, the, the people that don't, don't know jack shit about comics or the stories. So they have to do the movies because that's all they watch or the shows. And you still have to please the, 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 the hardcore comic fans. So you, you still have to add some little... You know, I don't know. It's crazy, dude. But um, but you can't fuck up with Capcom because you know there, there's there's no legal battles. Techn- unless it's like trying to put a fucking rival school's character in or something. Or ex characters. Or That's ex characters. Much the but only two things that you can fuck up on. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, everyone. But everyone's already excited because okay, there's a Resident Evil character. Chris is in it. Who knows? Oh who man, he looks so in. bad too. Hey, That's one of the characters was, that looks so shitty. He was my favorite part of the whole sh- oh, the whole trailer, only because yeah. He He's shot like the Ultron game. robots, and, like, he was the last one standing, and he shot Ultron in the back with a bullet. Like, a regular bullet. But, um, yeah, you can't, you, you can't fuck up Mega Man. He already looks like a goddamn cartoon. You know, you can't... Strider, everyone loves Strider. But, um, like, who... To me, right now, the game looks like a cell phone game. Um, only because... It looks really... Yeah. Everything that's not related to the gameplay looks horrible. <laughs> the gameplay looks like it, it will be fun. But they couldn't have chose shittier characters to show it off. It's like, yeah. none of them can do anything... The only characters that looked interesting was Ultron and Strider, yeah. which because they can do cool, fun shit. But um, it's really it's so hard to tell from early stuff like what's gonna be. Maybe if they come out with more videos or some shit like that, we'll be able to get a better idea. But the gameplay looks like it's not a piece of shit. It's just everything else kind of does. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to pay a million dollars to get the full game and. Uh, oh yeah, and the fact that. There's six DLC characters already announced that nobody knows how many characters are in the game is a little bit bullshit, but I mean that's look at Street Fighter Five. We still don't know who's in the character pass. So fighting games are that doesn't surprise me. You know what? Shout out to Guilty Gear, dude. <laughs> like seriously, mm-hmm. like the game that doesn't screw you over on characters. Like that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Like yep. You don't. <sighs> it's just sad that it came down to like you have to buy in characters now, like. Like remember, like Street Fighter Four, Vanilla. All you had to do was unlock characters, and when you and when yep. the new game came out, you you got the when, when you bought Super, you got the characters. It's not like you had to buy. A, a, I don't know. It, it's it's sad. Like, and people eat that shit up, dude. If I didn't run shit at my house, I would not buy a fucking single character except for the character that I play with. You know what I mean? But since I run shit, like I had to fucking buy four season passes and just like. I gotta buy fucking, dude. Tekken Seven already ha- like a DLC. I'm so I'm so disappointed at Tekken Seven right now. But hey, whatever. Injustice, Jesus Christ, man. You gotta like give an arm and a leg for all the characters in that game too. Yep. Um At least it looks like they fucking tried to make a like cohesive game though. So but, I can't really fault them for that. I'm super excited for Injustice too, though, man. Like it looks like. I'll be able to play it. It looks like a real game. It, it looks doesn't fun. look like some bargain basement bullshit. So, but who knows what happens when we start to play it? Yeah. So Marvel, okay, Marvel. We're done talking about Marvel. Can okay. You know what? Let's, let's, let's just. I'm gonna throw you a curveball. Not a curveball. I'm sorry. I want. I want. I'm gonna say name five, five Marvel, pe- um, characters and five five um Capcom characters you want to see, in um that you personally want to see in the game. Hmm, okay. Hold on. Let me uh. Let me write this down real quick. Yeah, we'll write. We'll um, for Capcom, Captain Commando. Oh, uh-huh, nice. Anybody from Darkstalkers, Jeddah personally, but he was on the leak list, so I hope that's actually true. Um, 
Damn, there's so many characters. You know what? You might have to you have to do yours first. Let me uh let me think about this real quick. All right, Capcom. Uh, fucking the homie Jack um, Baker, dude. Jack. Oh yeah, Jack. that's a good one. But you know, I'm gonna mix this one up with the, uh, Jack slash like o- OG Jill Valentine, like from like Marvel Two. So that's, that's a good one too. Um, Ruby Hart because she got no um, you know, they made her just for Part Two, and that was all she ever showed up in. Ruby Hart. Uh, Amigo, Sansan. <laughs> All right. And um, who else would be cool? Hayato would be pretty. No, nah, well, um, so maybe a Power Stone character. Um, so like Jill slash Jack, uh, Ruby Heart, Amigo, Sansan. I'm gonna say, man, maybe I'll go oh, Birdie. That'd be retarded. Um, <laughs> um. Cable. No, no, Cable's Marvel. I'm a retard. Cable's um, a Marvel character. But that's, that's a great it's like, idea. It's like Jin, Hayato. I don't want to say Commando because you said that, but Commando would be really cool. Um, probably, yeah, probably like uh, maybe a dark... Oh, Sasquatch would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That was in one of mine also. Okay, so yeah, I was like... Okay, so I was like a, a Dark Stalkers character also. So yeah, J- uh, Jill Valentine, like MVC two style, um, Sansan, Amigo, Ruby Heart, and um, uh, like Sasquatch, and the uh, Amigo, Sansan, and Ruby Heart only because like, you know, it was Give no, another chance, man. It was no yeah. fair for them in Marvel two because like once that tier list came out, like they were not re- relevant unless you were like a, no, a character specialist. Were. But maybe in this game they can make them like badass, and then in um. Fuck, dude. Marvel, Marvel is tough, dude. Cause like, there's there so, there's so like no wrong answer for that. many Marvel I characters. Think. Like, I guess you know, five. Like, I'll, I'll go like my favorites. Wise, it would be badass to see Gambit in the game. Gambit, Cable, and then just like to throw it off the wall. Maybe like um, uh, Gambit, Cable. Maybe like somehow. Well, movie media wise, maybe Loki will be in the game. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be um, pretty sick. And then uh, like. Thanos, Thanos would be badass, and uh, I'm trying to think of like just like some, like uh, damn, I want to say like Drax, but not like movie Drax, but like I'm thinking like too much. You know what? A whole black Black Bolt in the game would be pretty badass. Hopefully, like, maybe Black Bolt because you know yeah, they are pushing in humans. All now, they do so. is like talk to you and you just die. Yeah, dude. Like he whispered. Dude, that's like yeah. He'd be so strong. <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool to see how they would do the character. I like that. But um, Blink. Who said that? Nightcrawler. That'd be, dude, that'd be cool. Damn. Blink or Nightcrawler. Dude, there's there. a lot of things. Oh, really man. Cool. Maybe, like... Yeah. Man, yeah. They're, like, I'm thinking of, like, all my favorite, like, I'm, like, like, Second Coming. Like, all those, like, they're all coming up. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking of, like, characters, like, all in there. Like, damn. There's, like, Sentry. Dude, Sentry would be fucking sick. Um, Kobe Bob. Green Bob Goblin. Right. Like, Green Goblin. Something, like, something crazy, man. Like, Dr. Octopus. Um, fuck. Who knows, man? That'd be there's a lot of cool characters, man. Man, Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler would be really cool. I don't know, Marvel, Marvel's crazy, man. There's so many, there's so many possibilities they can do. But you know, it would be cool if they did like Captain America's son, like the guy he, like the kid he found. But uh, yeah, or like you know, Scar, like Hulk's son. But who knows what the fuck's gonna happen, man? Mysterious. Oh, yeah, there, that's too many cool. There's so many good characters. I can't think about it, man. Cause like, yeah, that's crazy. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I love crossover yeah, I got, a, I got a, a decent five and five. All I'll right. run through real quick. Hit me with it, bro. For Capcom, it would be Jetta, Regina, Captain Commando, Fang, and Tal Bane. Those are the five that I think would be pretty sick. That'd be pretty badass. And uh, for Marvel, would be Cable, Juggernaut, Shumagorath, Omega Red, and Cyclops. I Dude, think those Omega are, like, Red? Pretty, oh, yeah, Saber I think those five, yeah. and five are like pretty sick. Damn. So, and if I personally Omega put Red would be so... in, I'd put those 10 in. That'd I feel like they sick. could do a lot of cool shit with Fang and like uh, Tal Bane in this game. If he could just beast cannon you, he'd be exactly the same as Darkstalkers. So I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm just thinking like, just I'll put X-Force characters in, dude. Just put like, Dar- uh, fucking Dark uh, Archangel, Psylocke, and Domino. Like, and Domino. But get Fang That'd be pretty cool too. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things they could do. I just really don't think any of those things will happen. I wonder really who they will put in there. We, you know what we should do? Like we should. Start I really like hope the leak list is real and that Jetta is actually in the game because yeah. I think that character is fucking sick. We should do a pool, like a friendly pool, just like everyone, just like 
name five Capcom characters and five Marvel characters. Whoever just gets the most right, like, they'll get, like, something. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool to do. I'll put it for it, man. That sounds cool. X-23? Like, Kid X-23? That'd be pretty cool. Man. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, Day yeah, or yeah, something. Put Dre's team back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> People were saying Phoenix and Dark Phoenix. <laughs> like, so the... <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I, I think that's a good... Yeah, Marvel Infinite. Okay, so, now, um, let's move on to Injustice 2, man, because... Uh, I'm excited for, I'm not even excited for Marvel Infinite, like, but except for that talk we decided now, the three games I'm most excited for, though, besides Marvel Infinite, and I'll say it in order, I already said that if Injustice 2 comes out before Tekken 7, I'll probably put more time into that game, only because that I already, like, kind of know Tekken 7 shit, but just because, like, that's how angry I'm at, at Namco, but I still love them, but Injustice 2 is on the top of my list. Rev 2 and then Tekken 7. Those are the three games that I really want to like get good in. So Injustice 2 is looking like that game is looking more and more badass. Not only because of that I love DC, but it's just I don't know. It's a fighting game with DC characters. So I guess it is because I love fighting games and I love DC. Yep. And it just looks fucking sick and all the characters are getting more badass and more badass and I don't know. I'm excited. I just hope that it survives. Um, but I'm gonna buy it anyway, and I know that like a good amount of people are gonna just play it anyway. But I don't know. It looks badass. Like they they showed like Dark Side. I mean, I watched all the videos earlier of him already. Like his Omega beams are like badass. He just looks like a fucking. He's just badass, dude. He's just he's a badass character, and like all his moves, it just shows that he's like a badass, dude. Like he like summons. His it's a hard dude. character to make like to make shitty. He just like he looks so cool originally that you don't really have to do much with him. Yeah. He's gonna have to just have him show up. His shit talking is, cool. is like on point too all the time, man. Like, he's a god, dude. That guy is a god, man. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. What about you, Vince? Are you excited for just to and uh? Yeah, man. I just want to play it, man. I don't really. I don't have to wait for it, but it's not gonna be much longer, I guess. So yeah, it's, it's supposed to be May, right? It uh, May. Cause I don't know. Cause Breaker's in May. And that, yeah. That oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, and that's the first one. Yeah, so. I was I was worried though about some of the characters. Like I know we're both you're we're all worried about Bane. He was kind of he was kind of small looking, but like in the new trailers, like when it shows him like juicing up, like he gets all big again. Um, mm -hmm. Grodd looks bad at. I don't know, man. I'm excited. I can't wait because I feel like there's gonna be like a million characters in that game, so it'll be a good. Um, it's gonna be fun to like just play the characters and see what's really good, you yeah. know. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna stick with my boy Batman, but who knows, man? Grodd's looking mad badass. Uh, There's so many characters that look interesting. It's crazy. I didn't think so many would. Yeah, and they haven't announced everyone yet because those. There's the screenshots of the Joker, and he he looks pretty cool. So we'll see what happens with that, man. Um, story mode obviously is probably gonna be like the coolest thing ever. I mean, all the little trailers are already badass. And then if you have time, on YouTube they already have like the 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 versus like uh, when the characters meet each other and they talk shit to each other. That like some of those are like they're they're like pretty hype, man. That's all I gotta say, dude. But um. Team Gotham, hell yeah, dude. But uh, I don't know. Injustice Two, PX. is someone at the fucking door? Mika's going crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, Injustice Two, excited. Yeah, it's Jody. He heard about Injustice. <laughs> but it will be at the house. I'll tell you that right now. Um, next game, uh, Rev Two, um, Rev Two will be at the house. I'm excited. I mean, I haven't played in like a week because Vincent didn't go to the house Friday. <laughs> and but um, right. Rev Two is looking cool. Um, biking looking cool. Excuse me. Answer looking cool. Um, I mean, they're supposed to announce two um, other new characters. I don't know when that's supposed to happen, but I mean, that company never ceases to like amaze me. I mean, like I said, like the game is badass. The the it just looks good. Uh, it's fun. The people that play it are ridiculous, and they're just like crazy ass people. The music is just on point. Really, really and, good. I mean, like a lot of people at the house are like trying to get into it, and I'm really glad to see that, man. So. I mean, I'm excited. Um, I mean, I just I wish I could just play it as much as I can, but I mean, Yada Cross. Oh, dude, yeah, Yada Cross is getting an update. There's a new character too, man. Um, yep. But uh, yeah. So just uh, Rev Two. When's Rev Two supposed to drop? May also, right? It's gonna be Injustice is gonna come out, then te uh, Revelator, and then Tekken. Tekken. I think. Tekken I think it's is in, that in order. June. So they're all within three weeks of each other. Yeah. So wow, if I'm so not maybe... mistaken, I might be. But, then you know. Tekken 7, man, the biggest cock tease of them all, man. 
early 2017. See you in June. See you in fucking June. But everyone is so excited at the house to play it that for the Tekken... It looks like they spent so much time on it. It looks so nice that, like, I... Like, I really can't get too mad at having to oh, I'm not for mad it, at it. But it's been a it. long fucking time for people that actually play Tekken and shit. I would be kind of pissed off. If that was game, me. has people have been waiting for that game, that they're playing Tekken Tag 2 solo. And that shit's been a packed house since that shit started at TTF. For what, like dude. two months now? For like two months, two months strong. The f and, it's, and it's only getting new people. So I beg, I beg you newcomers... I'm glad you're enjoying the game, but when 7 comes out and the serious mode comes out, because that's the game to play, don't quit, man. Please don't quit. Just don't quit. Like, you kept playing Street Fighter V for some reason, and you never quit. So don't get, don't, don't quit Tekken 7. It's a, it's a tough game. It's a really tough game, but, but I mean, at least it's rewarding. The reward, it's fun to play. The reward is worth it. I've had, I, I've had... My favorite moments in the FGC are, are all Tekken moments. That, that's all I got to say. All the people I've met through Tekken in SoCal and around the world, all the tournaments I've been to, I mean, that shit was, is, is probably the best moments I've ever had in my life, and it's, it's worth it. That's all I got to say, man. Um, like, like when, when you tell someone, oh, like Super Arcade, they're going to think of like Watson Super Arcade with Wednesday Night Fights. No. Super Arcade to me was a Tekken arcade way before yep. Watson, dude. It was a, yeah, it was, it was a owners. fucking Tekken so. arcade. It was, I don't know, it was crazy. Like Tekken five tournaments, like that shit was. San Diego would roll deep there. It was badass. And then they got like, it, and then it, it just became a plus when uh, Street Fighter Four Vanilla came out because they got it too. But it was always a Tekken arcade, man. Believe it or not, that had a third strike cabinet and a Marvel Two cabinet. But um, no. Yeah, Tekken 7 is a great game. Um, we're going to talk. I need to focus more on TTF when we get into these. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But, uh, yeah, te there's a, a lot of games coming out, man. So And a lot of work has to be done, But um, I believe. But, um, yeah. To the roof. I don't know about that roof, man. Um, it's going to burn the house down on my birthday. But um, uh, yeah, well, we, we could do it. Why uh, wait? But yeah, I don't know what to talk about anymore. I mean, I I feel like we haven't talked about fighting games like that in a long ass time, man. Because there's really nothing to talk about. I mean, this week was pretty big for news, so. Like I totally gave up hope on uh Tekken, not Tekken Seven, um, King of Fight. Me, I gave up hope at, on KOF. Like I really don't care about it anymore. It's a cool looking game, and I'm glad people play it. All I can say is that if you do play KOF, um, there um. I mean, people play it at the house. If fucking Drake is at the house, KOF is going to be, like, the, the game of the night. If you come on a good night, like, Drake will show up, J-Smack, even Alexis, and, like, all those... Like, last... Oh, you weren't here Friday. Like, last Friday, all the dust suit people that showed up usually, they're all playing KOF, man. So, I mean... That's cool, man. Like, if it wasn't for people like Drake, like, KOF would be dead. You know what I mean? Because um, he always brings his fucking setup, dude. So, like, I mean... God bless that kid, dude. Like, I don't know. He he loves SNK games, man. So I'm glad he's around for that shit. But um yeah, KOF what uh yeah. Um so I think what we should do now is that we should talk about Land Diego State Seven and why you should go. Um of all the shit talking that I uh from all of the, the the bottom of my heart and all the realness from the bottom of my heart. Um I might talk shit about a lot of things, but in the end, a I lot use, of things. I show up anyway, and it's you know it's it's like funny, but I mean I still support it. I mean, it's crazy, crazy like how much I care about other people in the thing, and I, all I, all I really want to do is watch them succeed, and my way to show it is just talking shit, but in a good positive way if that makes sense. But um, Land Diego State 7 should be a big thing in San Diego. Not only because, like... Hmm. Like, Winter Game Fest was a big thing. Winter Game Fest yep. was, like, UCSD's version 
of LDS, and it was like, man, I love that. I'm the saddest thing was when you I, uh, non students were like able not to go anymore. Like that, that was the saddest thing ever, man. That was everyone went to fucking uh fucking uh uh winter game fest. San Diego State. The first, like, I, it, oof, it, it, like when I went to San Diego State, the first one, I was not impressed. I was just like, man, I miss, you know, fucking SCSU is way better, blah, or, uh, you know, Winter Game Fest is way better, blah, blah, blah. But we lost it. We lost it, and we're never going to get it back unless, like, something happens. But now we, we have a new, like, tournament thrown by a school. So what we had to do is we had to make it, like, the next big as good thing. as we possibly can we have to make yeah. it as good as we possibly can or we might lose it and we don't want to lose another venue we already lost fucking the scoop phase i didn't know we lost yeah, scoop we lost phase. we lost too many venues already right. so i thought they were It'd just be nice being, to keep it going i thought they were just closing down because like oh we got to fix this but no they, they're closed down permanently that's another venue lost in san diego guys that's fucking ridiculous so what we can at least fucking hold on to a tournament that happens like every other month, right? So why not go to San Diego State? Fucking who? You know what I mean? Like this tournament is Sunday, by the way. This Sunday, it's not like this some fantastical far off Sunday. Sunday, this Sunday. And the thing they're lacking in on though is this promoting, man. You need to promote. You need to promote, man. Promote, promote, promote. Spam that shit or find someone to spam it for you and I guess that someone was me But the sad thing is is that like, you know, I, 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 I post about it anyway Like well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell people to go anyway cuz I'm gonna be there. Fuck it, man I've, I've been to the last like four. Why not go to the, the, this one man? Fuck it um, But it's like, you know, th they they messaged me saying oh, we want you to do something for it um, oh, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm interested. I'm gonna go anyway. I'm more than happy to help What do you want me to do? And they're like, oh, we'll, we'll we'll get up all the paperwork later, and we'll tell you, like, like fucking two weeks later, like last week. You know what I mean? Oh, all we want you to do is, um, since you are like are like a clot in the community, and like you know people know you, we want you to promote it. And I was like, you waited that long to tell me that? You waited that long to tell me something that I was gonna do? More, and I said, yes, I'm more than happy to do it. So I, I've been doing it, but I mean, I keep fucking saying. That it's not me. It, it's it, it's never me. It's never me. I can post that shit all day, and like all I can, I can give you lies. I can I can you know what I mean. I can tell you little lies and all that shit. But in the end, it's up to you guys. It's up to everyone in the community, as a whole, as just as as you know as players, as as stream monsters, as monster you know as a uh, fucking scumbags, casuals is uh, to to show up. And make this event something magical, something fucking big, dude. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, forget all the, the, the noise you hear, you know, from LDL or LDS or TTF or anything. I mean, just, like, for, I don't know, like, because they're not really trying to scum you out. Like, why? I mean, they, they've had seven of these. There, you know what I mean? There's seven, there's, there's been seven San Diego states, man, like. If, if they were that shitty, they wouldn't have any. They wouldn't... Yep. If they hated the fighting game community, they wouldn't even try to push fighting games. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean... And then, like, the people... Okay, so... I'm gonna tell you why you should go. I'm gonna tell you why you should go. Because if you're not doing jack shit on Sunday, which, I mean, payback is happening, I don't, you know, but hey, sacrifices must be made. You know what I mean? Um, yep. if you're not doing jack shit on Sunday and like you, you, you want to, you want to do something and you play fighting games, boom, Land go state seven. If you have a lot of money and you want to buy raffle tickets and get these prizes that are worth like a thousand dollars and like, holy shit. Like, I mean, these prizes are fucking crazy. They're like motherboards, video cards, all this fucking keyboards and all this esports shit that I can't even like dream to afford or have, they have it, man. And you can win that yep. shit. I've seen Toki win fucking thousands of dollars worth of shit. You know what I mean? Um, and he's probably gonna do it again this Sunday. So you should come to watch that shit happen. Another thing, it's just even though the last couple were small turnouts, 
The people that are there are all badass. There's going to be, I mean, everyone's going to be there, right? Like, fucking Javi's going to be there. I met Javi at fucking, El, like, the Land Diego State. I didn't even know who the I'm fuck sorry. he was. And I, he, he was my first round, and it was a birdie mirror match. He almost beat me. And then, like, he never, he didn't even talk to me or anything. I just, you know what I mean? A good game, handshake. He just called you fat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he called you a fat asshole, dude. But, um, but, like, and then I never, you know what I mean? And then, like, I don't know where he starts showing up. And then the most badass thing is why I'm not going to be there. God damn it. And the, he's, he's probably not going to be there because there's, like, crazy, you know, the whole um, paying online or paying offline or not paying at all. Or whatever. But um, I don't know, man. I just think if everyone shows up to that fucking tournament and the, just besides the whole what's going on shit and just, like, just, you know, as soon as you get there, just go to the Street Fighter corner, man. And this is, we're all going to be there. We're all going to be having a good time. We're all going to be harassing, you know, the, 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 the sororities. You know what I mean? Um, but, um, no, I mean, Vince is going to be there. Right, Vince? I'll be there. He's commentating. He's a, he's a caster. Vince's favorite yeah. word. Um, number one caster in uh, all of San Diego. They put, like, a bounty on Richard's Next head. Next to Mr. Fantastic. So if you beat Richard, you get like money and shit, dude. Oh, fuck it. I forgot I already said that. Like, hey, man, I'll throw in 50 bucks. Oh, I think it was like if 60 people show up, they'll put a bounty on Richard's head. And I said, yeah, but you're just going to do that. Anyways. And I said, fuck it. You know what? I'll just do that shit anyway, man. So, um, you know, I mean, there, there's nothing to Like, what is there really to lose? Besides, no like, not four going. hours of your you time. You should go. You should just go, you man. You can hang out with us, dude. It's, yeah, isn't that worth seriously. It? It's on its own. Just fucking hang out with me and Vince and like Toki and fucking whoever else is gonna fucking be there. Like, who gives a fuck, man? Just come out and hang out, dude. And you know, in the end, they're they're like the the people that run that shit. They're they're nice people, man. Like, yep, they're fucking harmless, dude. It's not like they're like we're gonna take all this money and fucking buy Chipotle. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with the money. I don't give Pizza a fuck. Comics. I don't give a fuck what they're gonna do with the money, man. As long as they pay. I don't either. As long as they pay out what they're supposed to pay out. Oh, yeah, and the cosplayers, too. I forgot about that. Oh, and there's, like, I'm scared of cosplayers. There's, like, cosplayers and shit. I mean, they get, like, famous people. They have, like, free games, like, you can play. Like, there's going to be, like, a Hearthstone tournament. I don't know, man. Just go. Give me like, an internal tournament, you know? I'm going to enter and get first place. There is nothing to lose besides, like, a couple hours of your time. But it's Sunday. And what your the, virginity. What the fuck are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? What are you gonna do on some? What? Just, just look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I doing Sunday? Yeah, there you go, man. And if you if you say nothing, I'll see you Sunday at Lan Diego State seven. That's all I gotta say, man. Just show up to that fucking tournament. Yeah, don't show up or don't. Just actually show up. I just show it. up. I'll see you there, I, man. Let's talk some shit. And Let's we can't promise time. any of the badass LA players, because a lot of those badass LA players, they're going to go to fucking Houston, dude. Dreamhack is happening. So good luck to anyone going to Dreamhack that we know. No one, you know, from San Diego at least, but, you know. <laughs> Vince, is there, is there anything we need to add on about this, like, whole LDS7 thing? Dude? You know the fucked up thing is? Is that, like, they're like, I don't think Marvel's going to be there. Cause on the poster, it, ha it just has like it doesn't, the, have it doesn't have a picture on it, dude. It just has a picture of a uh, Street Fighter Five and Smash Four, man. Do you want me to buy it on my PS4 and we can run it ourselves? Marvel? Yeah. We should have a Guilty Gear tournament on the side, dude. That'd be we could cool. do that too. I'll bring all my shit. I, I don't mind at all. Yeah, if they're willing to let us do it, then of course I well, would do well, it. Well, what are they gonna lose, man? We'll just let's just bring. Yeah, I'll bring a setup. You'll bring a setup. We'll have casuals, dude. We'll yeah, have like other games. I'll bring all my shit. shit. I don't care. If you guys want to have any other game tournament and I, it's reasonable for me to have it, I'll bring it. I don't care. Fuck it. Street Fighter Four. Who knows? Yeah. And there's nothing to lose, man. I don't give a fuck what you think, dude. I'll be there. You. Yeah, you should definitely go. There's no reason to not go to this tournament. Unless you just can't go because you got another shit going on. But you should still head over afterwards. Yeah, it's pretty much just going to be TTF in a different spot at that point. So you should just go anyways. Oh, man. So, yeah, see you guys at Atlanta Eagle State uh, 7 at 
SCSU Sunday. I don't know what time it starts. I think Street Fighter starts at 3 o'clock, so we're all gravy, man. Um, yeah, I think it starts at 4.20. But, uh, yeah, that's happening. Some of us are watching Payback, but some of us are just going to watch it there instead. Yeah, bring the DDR set up, Phil. All right. Good talk. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done selling my soul to the devil. No, I'm sorry. Oh, no. you have a maximum. Wait, you have a maximum carnage setup? Is that real? What is this? I'll speed run that shit right when we get there, man. I'm pretty good at that game. Photos. Phil. Phil Wong. What, what, what is Phil? Is this dick pics of Phil? A fizzle? No, it's a picture of Maximum Carnage. Oh, the badass. best game of all hey, time. Hey, don't you have the real game of that, too? Yeah, I do. All right, cool. Yeah, bring that shit by, man. Let's dude, do bring it. it. Let's just bring fucking mad setups, dude. Let's just fuck it, man. I'll bring all my shit. I'll bring care. all my I'm shit, down. too, man. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, you hear that, LDL? We'll bring some shit, too, man. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun Sunday. I don't give a fuck. The only thing that sucks, you know... I was playing Guilty Gear for like 12 hours. The only thing that sucks about LDS is on Sunday. And I have to go to work the next day. That's the only thing that sucks, man. Maximum Barney. But I'm just... But since I was uh, fired yesterday, like, it's not a big deal for yeah, me. You're I think it's all good. You can do all, you're all your work money you need. Okay. So, um... Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the next... Let's talk about Paradise Hill Showdown 7. Let's talk about... Par 7? Let's, seven's not out yet. I think I've taken seven. PHS you're 6. Right, that's not... We could just skip one. We're gonna, gonna talk about PHS six, and I'm gonna talk about why you should go to PHS six. It's pretty much the same thing I said about LDS seven. Yep. Um, Paradise Hill Showdown is a tournament I throw at TTF. It's been long gone for a really long time, but I revived it last uh, year, and I want to do it again. This tournament is nothing special. There is nothing special about this tournament. What makes this tournament special is that for some reason, the house gets mad packed with like people playing Street Fighter out of fucking nowhere, and then like all this crazy shit. It's just like a giant TTF. It's like when the st when the stick bug has their like big ones for no reason. That's like what it is. Like it's just a big ass TTF that happens once a month for no reason. What's and it and I just throw shit in there just to have fun. So here are the announcements. I already made one announcement about. I was kind of iffy about having raffle because, like, I can't afford all this cool shit like I did before. But I'm already getting people donating a lot of shit. So it's like a community-based raffle. I mean, uh, my roommate, Paul, he, like, he fucking uh, gave me this stuff right here. It's like a little pop figure of Akuma and this, like, Chun-Li statue thing. Like, he just gave it to me. He's like, hey, man, use it for the raffle. So, boom, there's two prizes. I got two. I got, I got art already. I mean, fuck, dude. I got um, two... Of these Udon posters still. I mean, boom, those two raffle prizes. We can give away a fucking 3E uh, poster. <laughs> That's a route. Dude, fucking Trox might um, donate some, like, art book for Tekken 6. And then he also has... Um, and the jury poster, man. The That's the dude, that jury right poster is fucking expensive, dude. But he might um, he might donate that shit. Uh, uh, OFC JFlow, he's donating some shit. He donated, like, Overwatch and some other shit uh, last year. Um... And, you know, the best I can tell you, though, is that I will buy something for... Oh, the um, I'm going to... The, the gift card roulette, we're going to make that something big this this year. That's going to be, like, the main the main focus is the gift... I'm just going to get, like, a shoebox. It's going to be sick, dude. But the gift card roulette is going to happen. It's going to be real. It's going to happen. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get some shit. But, I mean, a lot of people are already, like, telling me that they're going to, like, just bring shit for the raffle. And in the end, fuck, dude, thanks. That's a badass thing. Um, questions already about is Street Fighter Five the only game there? And uh, usually it is only the game there, but I'm um, here to say no, it's not the only game there. There are too many badass games coming out for it just to be only a Street Fighter Five tournament. Um, Tekken Seven will be there, will be a tournament. Injustice Two will be a tournament, and Guilty Gear Rev Two will be a tournament. But it will be a tournament if only you guys come out and show me that you want it there. I can guarantee you there will be a Tekken 7 tournament. I'll tell you that right now. There will be a Tekken 7 tournament. Uh, but will it be How as much... How could at this point, you know? Will it be as much as the Tekken... The, the Street Fighter 5 tournament? No, because the Street Fighter 5 tournament in the end, though, is the main event of PHS. It will Street Fighter will always be the main event at PHS. Unless it was the first two, which Tekken 5 was. Because there was no Street Fighter 4. But um, once Street Fighter 4 came out, that shit took over PHS. But... um. PHS is gonna cost like you know like 25 20 bucks. Um, there's a guaranteed pot already of like a thousand dollars Top eight gets paid out uh, medals trophies 
all that or all that badass shit. Um, so that's gonna happen. Um, so the thing with Tekken Seven and all the other games, they might be like ten bucks, and if I get like a certain amount of people, I might throw in some cash for it. But in the end, I just want it to be a tournament at the house. You know what I mean? Like fuck it, dude. Um, so I, all I can say right now is that they, they will be tournaments. They will probably cost like ten bucks because like PHS in my eyes is like San Diego's major. Um, so that will happen. But hopefully we get people. So I want you guys to push that shit in, dude. Be like, hey, there's gonna be a big ass tournament. It's gonna be bad. You know why this tournament is badass? Cause it's at a house. It's gonna be fucking jam packed. It's gonna be gross. But it's gonna be crazy because everyone else is just in this damn room playing all this shit. Um, look at this guy right here, man. You know what we do to people right there? How do you delete this message, man? Pan Toki. But yeah, man, I played at PHS1. Yeah, get Oh my god, dude. Good stuff, good stuff. But um, I don't know, man. But this is how important PH or crazy PHS is to me, though, right now. It's capped at 64. And all I'm gonna tell you is that. Every PHS I capped reached the 64 people. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. So let's do that shit again, man. So if you want to play at PHS, you better... This is how you sign up for PHS, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to link you the event page that has nothing on there. But there is a list of people that posted saying, hey, I want to play at PHS. So what you can do is you go on the first post and you just post saying that, hey, I want a spot and I'll, I'll put you in the bracket. But there was only 64 um, spots, and what usually happens is that um, I make four pools of 12, and then, you know, the t one person comes out from the top, one from the bottom, that makes top eight. Um, also, <laughs> hey, hey, hell yeah, you DJ. Um, but then, PHS, the Street Fighter Five tournament will start early, as in, like, what time did we start last time? Like, four or something? Five? Yep. So I think it's like five? Yeah, so it'll probably start at five. And then, like, we'll start Tekken 7 and Injustice and all that other shit later. Because, like, you know, I, as much as I hope there is, like, six, like a shit little people, there probably won't be as much people. So we could probably do that tournament later on. And there'll probably be a Street Fighter 4 tournament. I feel like Street Fighter 4 annual like that. Because that tournament was fucking badass last year, too. But, yeah, um, it ended up being pretty sick. But, I mean, I don't know. Paradise Social, like, Paradise Social Showdown is, like, a tournament that I, I love having. But then I don't like having it sometimes because, like, I don't want to, like, let people down. But, like, I never do. It's weird. Like, I think I do, but everyone. But then I hear the people saying how much fun they had. And, like, it's crazy. Like, I just wish that. Man, I wish I had. I, I think, you know, we all wish we had money. You know, all that shit. I wish, like, I can like, get a hotel room and all that crazy shit. But then, if I think if I was offered, like, a hotel ballroom and that shit, I don't think I would do it. Because, like, uh, PH, I hope not. I hope Paradise Hills. The same way. PHS is is Paradise Hills, man. Like I live in Paradise Hills, so why would be why would it be called Paradise Hills Showdown in downtown? Like PHS well, you can just have it at Wingstop, you know. Dude, ugh, that'd be badass, man. Sponsored and shit. But uh, yeah, so PHS is uh home is where you make it, and uh, yeah, home always naked. But um, PHS is will always be at TTF, man, and that's why I have to cap it. But hey, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be badass, dude. And uh, I don't know. Will, do you have anything else you want to... Um... No, Will's not here. I'm so sad that Will's not here. That fucking liar. Vince, is there anything else you want to add on about PHS? Why I try to find this fucking... Thing? It's going to be fucking badass, man. Win the 12-pound bag of peach rings, dude. Like, there's nothing else to say. Like, there's no tournament. Just show up or don't. And you should just show up anyways. It was good last year. It was good all the other years that I wasn't there. It was good during the hiatus. So... Yeah, Vince will be my bracket ass. makers, dude. <laughs> or my bracket runners, dude. Um, I might That's raffle better. off. Um, I have, I have two. I have like three extra. I have an XL. I have a two XL shirt, a medium, and a large, or and a large uh, TTF shirt. And if I don't sell them before the um, PHS, I'll probably raffle those off. But if anyone is interested, those are the three sizes I have left. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of shady or kind of iffy about this. Uh. I gotta contact them tomorrow because um, they told me the end of the month and like they already took like the money out of my card, and they didn't send me the mock-up, which you know they they usually don't because they already did it. So tomorrow I'm gonna get in contact with them. I only brought that up because on my memories on Facebook, to uh to or this Friday or tomorrow or like a year ago tomorrow will be when the the first batch of shirts came in, and I you know what I mean. So 
it would be cool if the last batch shirts come in tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. But I'm super excited for the new TTF shirt. So I'm sorry for all the people that just bought the last batch, because this new one, to me, like I like, I've only Pretty seen badass. I've only seen like a, a preview of it. And it's not even done. And it's, like, so sick, dude. It's that. pretty badass. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like TTF embodied in a shirt. That's all I got to say. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's the backyard is on this shirt. Like, that's what it is, man. Like, it's art. Um, but, I don't know. There's so, much, there's, there's so much cool shit going on, man. July is always a super packed month, like, for me. And for, for actually, like, a, July is a super packed month for a lot of people in the San Diego scene. Because it's fucking... Especially in San Diego itself, I mean, it's it's Comic Con. Usually, the first week is PHS, second week is like Evo, third week is Comic Con, and the fourth week is uh, you know, I'm gonna get thrown through a fucking table on fire and shit. Like it's like crazy. Like, yep. It's always a busy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, if you want to play in PHS, boom, right there. Just uh, post up that you want to be in the tournament, and uh, I'm yeah. I think I'm done talking, man. I think the only thing left to talk about is uh tomorrow is a. Uh, just uh tomorrow's ttf uh it's gonna be a low roller since this week is super you know what even though i'm uh, man after like seeing all the people at wednesday and fights and like man like i wish i like the whole time i was like man it's so cool man like to me all i want to do is just like fucking play street fighter or fighting games and blah 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 so i was like super excited for this week coming up so friday tomorrow is a low roller at ttf five dollar tournament um three dollar guilty guild tournament hopefully good people um, just co come through, fuck it, you know, it's a open house, blah, blah, no no venue fee for spectators or casuals. Um, the thing that does suck is, though, that um, I, I, I had to sleep early, so I had to, like, at least get three hours of sleep because I have, like, an eight-hour CPR class I have to go to, like, at 9 o'clock tomorrow, uh, Saturday. Um, but uh, I, I usually don't try to let that affect um, TTF. But um, who knows what's gonna happen? Maybe uh, maybe someone will be up. I don't know what's gonna happen. But in the end, I'm, I'll probably close the doors at four o'clock or something. But um, don't worry, cause Saturday is TTS, which is uh, you know, it's the last Friday of the month. So uh, you know, or the last Saturday of the month. So I open the doors up. So we'll have the same thing. We'll have a tournament. We'll have a barbecue. We'll fuck around. Who gives a fuck? And then Sunday we'll finish it off at LD um S seven. So I really do hope um, I see everyone Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, it can be a bad thing for some and a beautiful thing for others. But um, let's just play some fighting games. Let's get fucked up. Let's eat some food and then play. You know what I mean? Um, yep. So is there anything else you want to close off on, Vince, before we get into our hot or not and our uh, bitch calling or our, our call out? No, I think that's it, man. I think just... Show up to all these tournaments, man. There's so much going on this weekend. Just fucking just go. Just go. All right. Since Will's not here, we're going to have... I'm going to have uh, Vince, you start off the fiasco. And you have... Uh, uh -huh. I know you have your Ebony Godness and you have mm -hmm. like... Uh, all, and your yeah, we'll go through it. All right. We'll go for the Ebony Goddess first. It's a Brooke show. I don't know what her deal is, but she's hot and black and she's a model. So put that in there real quick. The hot or not is um, the waifu from the Vietnamese restaurant, the older one that's just like out of control. She's the hot or not for the weekend because we went there a couple weeks ago. And let's see. And bitch calling? Um, Capcom, man, for for everything, dude. I, I don't even know where to start. I don't want to get into it, but Capcom for everything. Man, go ahead, man. It's all you. Capcom. Um, my hot or not is, hmm, uh, I don't know. Dude, you know, okay, so, um, um, I don't know any of the names, dude. Oh, you know, fuck it, I'll just say, it. um, I've been watching, um, you know, a new, um, these, uh, videos on the internet. Yep. I've been all about these go. videos lately, you know. Um, I think, you know, it's just, uh, I think they're called uh, Sis Loves. Is it Sis Loves Me? I think so. It's Sis Loves Me, you know, it's uh, it's uh, you know, it's about uh, it's porn, you know, fuck it. And the, the, the scenario is pretty cool, you know, the whole stepbrother stepsister scenario. But um, it's it's well done. It's like broke up into three parts, and like they don't have like famous 
like chicks are like amateur girls they're pretty hot and like the scenarios are pretty badass and uh check it out yeah check it out man check it out man <laughs> say, check dude, that fuck shit it, out man. dude I'll, I'll i'll link i can't link it i don't know my favorite one i think it's called like tattoo i don't know it's something ridiculous dude but um sis loves me i think it's like team skeet or something you know what let me just look it, it up for you guys Sis loves me. Is it Team Skeet? This is such a badass podcast. I don't know what it is. Uh, is it is Team Skeet a thing? It is, right? Yeah, it is. And then what? What? Okay, I think it's just Sis. Lo- My Sis loves me. It's home. definitely Team Skeet, dude. It is, right? It's a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just brutal, man. Yeah, it was this one. Oh, I can't fucking. Her name is okay. So this uh, the scene that got me into it was it's called I will sh- I will show you what this hole is for. And the chick's name is Marley Brinks. She's pretty hot, dude. But there's a lot of uh, good ones, man. So check it out. You know, it's pretty badass. A lot of amateur chicks and uh, I've seen them. <laughs> yep, you should check it out, dude. And talk to us about it at uh, PHS. And, or any um, other tournament you can set. My bitch calling is um. I don't think I have any man, cause like it's, it's it's been a pretty good week at work. I can't like, it's having ups and downs, but I'm like already over it. Um, I, I guess my bitch calling is like people that don't show up to events. I don't know. Okay, that's an old one. So people that don't show up to events and then complain that there's nothing to do in San Diego. So I guess. Those people, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, thank you. people are traveling finally again. That's like such a good thing that people are going to Wednesday night fights and shit. Yeah, so that's it, man. But right, it's 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 been a pretty positive week for me. I mean, I'm I'm loving it. I'm fighting games, like whatever. There's been a lot of cool people coming out. I mean, um, we're only gaining players. Like Friday, last Friday was fucking badass. Even though Vince wasn't there, um, Arlith came out. Right. Arlith, the Vega from um, that guy's a fucking legend. So it was pretty cool. Just having that guy at the house was badass. Cause that guy. Is like for all you new school people, he's not just like a Vega player that's like really into like frame data. That guy is a fucking legend, dude. That guy was a like third strike monster, like and the God the, bless all the work that guy's done. The man. team, like like his crew of people, were the most ridiculous people you can have. He's the guy that hanged out with like Doctor Sub Zero, Gutex when he was like he still is badass. Um, you know, Amir, like all those, Jesus Christ, dude, like all those, thir- the FFA third strike players, those guys were fucking monsters, dude. So that guy, and that guy did so much work for the Dr. Sub-Zero show and everything. And then he went, not a lot of people can say they went to SBO. And all the Red Bat videos too, yeah. man. He's in the credits for every single one, man. That like, guy's a, that like, guy put in mad work, yeah. dude. That guy's a badass, dude. And then he, he came over and then he said he had a good time. So I'm glad he said that. And then, um, uh, we have a new player from teach, um, um, Gamma, like that guy, he started coming to the house because I guess he's from like deep Mexico and he's like one of the top Mexican players. So he's like in TJ now. And that guy's been going to every fucking TTF with Alexis, dude. So that guy's a Does fucking he live badass. Is he in TJ now? He, I, apparently he, he lives there for work. So. Oh, that's cool. So hopefully, man. Wow, like, shit. like hopefully he just works down there more and like starts coming out because that guy's a fucking, that guy's a badass and that guy's a beast, dude. That guy's pretty good. And he's, he's cool too because like he's re- like, the thing I like about the Mexican players is that, um, Alexis is like really into the game like so when you have like two people really into it like him and like Gamma They talk like crazy about the game dude like you could tell they're fucking passionate about the game But uh, that's just, good. That's a good thing But hey, man, I he always thanks me for having him over and like says he'll be at the next one, dude So I guess man, but um, I think yeah, we're that's done. good enough for me So um, I'll upload this um, put it on YouTube and uh Hope to see you guys next. Uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Hope to see you guys Saturday. Hope to guys see you fucking Sunday, man. Vince, yeah, like see always. You guys Sunday for real. See thank you, you for coming out. Um, just post, man. Post up. Everyone post saying that I will be there Sunday at Land Diego State, dude. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna stream Persona or if I'm gonna stream Hearthstone, but uh, I'm gonna play for like an hour. Actually, I might just go to bed because it's fucking the smart thing. To it do. is eleven o'clock, but I mean. But you know, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, Vince, like always, thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. Um, Thanks, yeah. Will. You're the best. Peace no, out. Crockett will be featured at Land Diego State. So, um, that's reason enough to go anywhere. <laughs> the He's going to be cosplaying as Crockett. So.
Check them out. All right, guys. Peace out, man. Bye.